Welcome to the Accu web hosting video tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to install PHP 7.x versions in ISP config. If you want a PDF file of this video tutorial, you can download it from our Telegram channel, AccuWeb Hosting. We have mentioned our Telegram channel link in the description. Kindly click on the link and find the PDF file of this video tutorial. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. First we will check the prerequisites. Installed ISP config on CentOS 7 with a working condition. You should have SSH access to the server with root privileges. You should have admin access on ISP config. SE Linux should be disabled on the server. Let's see how to find out SE Linux status on CentOS 7. Login into the server using the below command. Command is ssh space username at ip address space dash p space ssh port number. Here you will have to use your Linux server username, ip address, and port number. Once you enter the above command it will ask for the password. Enter ssh password and press enter. Run the following command to check se Linux status. SE Linux is disabled on our server. If SE Linux is enabled on your server, open the config file. Set the SE Linux status disabled and reboot the server. Let's check the current PHP version. We have used our domain demo vpstest.com to check the current PHP version. First, we check the selected PHP version on the ISP config panel. Step 1. Login into the ISP config panel as admin user. Step 2. On the ISP config panel go to the Sites section. You will see all the websites under the Websites section. Step 3. Click on the domain name. We are selecting our domain demo vpstest.com. Step 4. Drop down the window and check the PHP version. Currently we have selected the default PHP version for the domain demo vpstest.com. The most reliable way to find the PHP version is to use the PHP info function. Let's create a PHP script as follows. Go to the root directory of your domain. Command is cd space root directory path. Create my PHP version.php file at root folder of your domain. 
command is vi space my php version dot php write the following code in the file my php version dot php Save the file myphpversion.php. Press escape key and write colon wq. Press enter to save and close the file. Let's access my phpversion.php file. You will see the current PHP version on the top of the page. Currently selected PHP version is 5.4.16. Let's install PHP 7.x versions on the server. To install multiple versions of PHP, you will need to install and enable the Remy repository to your system. First, we will install EPEL repo using the following command. This command will install EPEL repo on your server. If you have already installed it on the server you will get the message, package EPEL release 713.norch already installed and latest version nothing to do. We are installing PHP 7.4 on the server, for PHP 7.2 or 7.3 you just need to change the prefix. Like if you want to install PHP 7.2, use PHP 72 instead of PHP 74. Now we are going to install the Remy repository and then install PHP 7.4. By default, PHP FPM listens on port 9000, so we will make them listen on different ports as below. We will change port 9000 to any other port like 9086 and save the file. Open the file www.config. Search listen equals 127.0.0.1 column 9000. Change port 9000 to 9086. Save the file www.config. Now you need to start the PHP FPM services on different ports. Let's make the script wrapper to call PHP 74CGI. Then, set executable permissions to the files. Now create PHP configuration for Apache. By default, it runs PHP 5.4 CGI handler. 
Open the file php.config. Add below content to the above file. Save and exit from the file. Now restart and enable the following services. Let's configure PHP on the ISP config panel. As we have installed PHP 7.4 on the server, we will configure PHP 7.4 on the ISP config panel. For PHP 7.2 or 7.3 you just need to change the prefix. Like if you want to configure PHP 7.2, use PHP 72 instead of PHP 74. Step 1. Login into the ISP config panel. Step 2. Click on the Go to System button. Step 3. Go to the left panel and click on the additional PHP versions under the System section. Step 4. Click on the Add New PHP Version button. Step 5. Add control panel identification data in the name tab. Server should be selected if you have set up multiple servers. You can select another server. Client field should be left blank. Unless you want this PHP version to be only available for a specific client. PHP name is what you'll see in the panel to refer to this PHP version. We are entering PHP 7.4. Step 6. Switch to the Fast CGI Settings tab. You do not need to click Save button. The panel autosaves when moving between tabs. In the PHP Fast CGI binary enter this path. In the php.ini directory enter this path. Step 7. Switch to the PHP FPM settings tab. In the PHP FPM init script enter PHP 74 PHP FPM. In the PHP.ini directory enter this path. In the PHP FPM pool directory enter this path. PHP FPM socket directory field left blank. Step 8. Click on the Save button. After this, PHP 7.4 will be available in your ISP config.
let's assign PHP 7.4 to the website on ISP config. Step 1. On the ISP config panel go to the Sites section. Step 2. Click on the domain name. We are selecting our domain demo vpstest.com. Step 3. Drop down the window and set the PHP version which you have installed on the server. We are selecting PHP 7.4. Click on the Save button. Log in into the server and restart the HTTPD service. Let's access my PHP version.php to check PHP version. Congratulations! You have successfully installed PHP 7.4 on the ISP config. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to install PHP 7.x versions in ISP config. If you like our technical video please press the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us so do not forget to symbol us. To download a PDF file of this video, please subscribe to our Telegram channel, Accu Web Hosting, where you will have to access the PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching.